Yes. Cool. Well, I, I think I went through everything, unless you got some surprises for me. <laughs> Always got surprises. Nice. Hey, Always everyone. Surprises. We got zero people so far. Where are they? They'll be coming in. There, there we they go. Are. Boom. <laughs> Boom shaka laka laka. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? How are you? How are you? How are you? Yay, Linda. Linda. Hi, Linda. Linda's a friend of mine if it's the Linda that I know. Wow. The super secret glass. Notice I got mine. All right, I got mine. <clears throat> yep, I got mine. I got mine. <laughs> super <laughs> fantastic. Hi, Tracy. Okay, everyone. I guess so that means you know. they can hear us, by the way. Well, yeah, but I'm going to do a tech <laughs> check. So what, what's the deal with those sparkly lights? It looks like you're running a house of ill repute. <laughs> <that one. laughs> What's, Thanks, Mark. What, Thank you, Mark. What, what's the gig with those sparking uh, lights? I, I am learning how to do live streams in a more, oh, not necessarily professional, but in a different hey, manner. Definitely not a professional way. It's more of a pimpy way. Uh, I, I, di I, uh, I disagree with you on that. But anyway, one of my mentors does mm. some lighting in the background. And, and my daughter and I tried to do this. It did not work because we were trying to hide the lights. And so I just threw them up there. That's not the intended end goal. <laughs> okay. I was wondering what was going on. That's all. I could see those lights in the background. I was like, okay. Yeah, it's a experiment. Okay, cool. Hi, everybody. Right, as a, last week, wasn't last week's call absolutely fantastic? Ben, uh, the viral product manager, was on. Uh, he intended only being there for 10 minutes. Turns out he was there for the whole hour. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Uh, yeah, he did a great job. So yes. thanks to Ben for that. Yes, and as was. promised, we said that today, we would discuss uh, about how to set up a rewards campaign. I just what? Want to, uh, yeah, a we rewards did? campaign. Yes, we what? did. I didn't know well, what not last week. Do that. It was the week before that we said we'd do that. So well, yeah, just but... following up on everyone. Um, and uh, this is something that is overly overlooked by a lot of people when they use up viral. I, I mean, in a big way and to their detriment, everyone normally runs a competition. Yeah, I thought uh, that's all you could do with UpViral. No, you can do a ton of <laughs> stuff with UpViral. And uh, here's, the, here's the thing with a competition. Some people will only run a competition once a year, twice a year, once maybe once a quarter. But running a competition every month can be a bit grinding at times. Um, so, you know, how to get a bigger bang for your buck is to also run uh, what I would refer to as an evergreen rewards campaign. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me just, uh, I'm just going to share my screen. Now, this is something I have never done. So if this all goes wrong, I do apologize. Turn screen share on. Uh, You've always made me do it. So now the test is really true here. I, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to do... that there it goes now can you see just can you see the infinity funnel or can you just what can tell me what you see there i see the mother funnel secrets reward ah, program excellent it's working it's working Yay. it's working it's working okay now i can't see myself which is really bloody weird uh so i will go through i will go now through you this. know how i feel <laughs> it is really weird when you can't see yourself when you it talking. is um, and if anyone walks in and looks over my shoulder, they'll think, what the heck are you <laughs> doing, mate? <laughs> so rewards. What I've done is I've mocked this up. Uh, you'll have to excuse the crudity of this. Uh, it's not to scale, and I didn't get a chance to paint it. Boom, boom. Um, but essentially what this is, this is taking in – this is sort of like looking at it from – You've got a website, e-commerce. Uh, it could be for you. It could be for a client. In this case, I've, I've not, it doesn't say on here what it's for, but it could be something like, uh, you know, something to do with people with beards looking after their beard, 
shampoos and whatever it is people whatever. use for that kind of stuff. Um, and what we're going to do is, so you could see this would be a full site and we're actually on the rewards page. So you can see I've fleshed it out a little bit. I've also put here, and the whole purpose of a rewards campaign is, what is the purpose? Well, it's to reward people for doing something that you want them to do. That's the whole purpose of a rewards campaign. But it's not just for the sake of getting them to do something so you can give them points, so you can give them prizes. There has to be some sort of tactic. What is the reason why I'm doing this? What am I trying to get people to do? And why am I trying to get people to do this? Well, the rewards campaign not only gives people a reward for you asking them to do something, the main purpose behind that campaign should be to spread your message or to be in front of them as much as you possibly can. Because that's the whole purpose, isn't it? You get someone's email address, they may not be ready to buy right now, but if you can give them discounts and then start emailing them and nurturing them, say, hey, we've got a sale on, we've got this, check out this fantastic product. If you are able to do that in multi-channels, it just means that you get your message in front of them more ways than anyone else would do. So this is a simple reward campaign, which a lot of companies are using these days and which you can use up viral for. So, you know, welcome to our rewards. And in this case, I said, get a hundred, you know, hundred points equals 10% and also sign up now and get 10 points, a hundred points straight away. So this is connected. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you, we're going to break all these. This is literally out of the box. Set this up for you all today. And I just literally went click, 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 boom. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down and break down each and every one of these things for you so you can see how we will change the copy and make it more appealing. And you can see here where the way people earn, can earn points. I've got it, followers on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, a birthday bonus, which is 100 points, 15 points to write a review, and 50 points to create an account. Well, what do I mean by create an account? Well, sometimes e-commerce, you, know, you go to an e-commerce site, if you're running the e-commerce, you know that people can actually create an account with you, even though they may not have bought anything. A lot of these sort of accounts now say, oh, create an account. It's free to set an account up. And the reason what they want you to do that is A, they get your email address so they can start marketing to you. But more importantly, when they get you inside the environment, they can give you offers and discounts. And the more juice they give to you, the more likelihood is you're going to be engaged and you're going to buy. Uh, so that's the idea of this. Can I, may again, I ask you a quick question? Question, question, We've talked away. about, I mean, you've mentioned that there's a difference between a loyalty program and a rewards program. Mm. So uh, what I think <sighs> you just said was that a, this rewards program, they may or may not already be a customer. Yeah, right. it, it, it is. It doesn't matter whether, forget whether someone is brand new or an existing customer. It does not matter. We are, okay. uh, th this is, this is, oh, this sort of campaign is open for everyone. Great. Someone who just comes to think of a, a loyalty and reward, a reward campaign. Think of it this way. I've just come to this site and I'm thinking, hey, you know, I'm pretty interested in buying this guy's products. I'm not going to buy the products. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the, the, the company. I did this with a company called Harry's, you know, the razor, uh, the shaving yes. company. Yeah. This not is exactly, you know. exactly. <laughs> well, funny enough. <laughs> I entered the campaign to check out how they did things. Right. I didn't wasn't shaving at that time. But I got so sucked into it. I actually ended up with a subscription. Nice. <laughs> I, and I I've got a beard and I ended up with a bloody subscription. Nice. Just, but that so shows it works. you it works. Yeah. I, I've got stuff upstairs and I'll run upstairs to the bathroom later and I'll pull it down. I have got a pile of Harry's products, which I have never used. <laughs> <laughs> just so I could see how the, how the cap. It wasn't I just thought I'll do it. I actually got sucked into it. So because a lot of people, when they see a rewards program, they come and they say, oh, it's a rewards program. They're not looking to get anything. And as you'll notice inside here, I am not offering anything. There's no prize here. There's right. no competition, nothing. 
Now, some people, what they will do is they will go into a rewards program. They'll see this. They'll see the 10%. They'll go, oh, okay, I like these guys anyway. I've got to sign up for the rewards because you know what? I've got to get 10%, 20%, 30% if I buy. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I do it? So straight away, although they've not purchased anything, it's a soft way of getting people to opt into you. It's a soft way and a very smart and clever way to build a relationship because they've made the decision. I am not selling a thing. All I'm doing is I'm saying, hey, come and check us out. If you like our products, follow us here, do this, uh, all these type of things. I won't necessarily do all these things, does not matter. But what it does is it builds that relationship up. So, and also, you know, there is a refer a friend side to it. I've, we've got to build into it. Right. You know, give 10%, get 10%. Same sort of thing that, like we, that we normally do. Give 10, get 10. But in this case, again, it's give your friends 10% off on the first online order, and you'll also get 10% yourself. And we've got down here uh, the idea of how the points work. So 5%. It's 50 points, 10% off is 100 points, 15 is 150, 200 is 20%. And if you add all these up, you will soon see that there is a lot of point. It's easy enough for someone to do it. You know, it's easy enough to do it, okay? Now down here, this is all just testimonials. So you'll have to excuse the faces of the ladies because I didn't have enough pictures of guys <laughs> with beards. <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, so how did I build this? Let's let's now look at where we built it. Uh, I used obviously up viral to build the campaign, and I used click funnels to create the landing pages, right? The, the opt-in page and the share page. Now I only choose click funnels because it's something I'm pretty familiar with. I don't have an account with anything else. I didn't want to start messing around with websites, but it doesn't matter what tool I'm using. You can use any tool to do this. It doesn't have to be ClickFunnels. I'm not right. going to go into the, the complexities of using ClickFunnels because I don't want to focus on it, but any tool will make this work. And you could so, technically do it inside of Viral, couldn't you? No. As a hosted landing page, why not? No, because these sort of things, as you see here, usually sit on your main website. Okay, we'll have these to sort of about things that. would probably sit. Well, yeah, but we we can statistically show that a widget gets sixty percent more um, leads than a landing page. We we've seen it. We've got the numbers, and the reason being is it's because it's on the main real estate that people are not getting bounced around. So a reward program is probably best used as the widget, and that is exactly what we've got in inside here. This is. This is it. This is the campaign. So let's just go inside here so we can see what we have got. So here are the in uh, the incentives. So we can see here coupon code. I put one in and let me just get rid of all this. Don't know why that is. Oh, they're the used ones. And I set up the points. We can see it. So I've got 5%, 10%. Uh, 15 and 20 percent there is no grand prize we're not running a competition it's very simple to set up uh anything in particular that you think we should look at inside here i can't see any questions coming so you're going to have to feed me anything that comes up all right i i am keeping an eye on the chat in the conversation um cool so one th one thing i was thinking about when i was looking at this and i noticed mm. For those that didn't necessarily notice, the screen you just had up, by the way, was uh, multiple coupon codes. So some people have said, well, I didn't know a viral could do that. Ah, glad you brought that up. You can load multiple codes. So if I put inside it, code one, A, B, C, D. Okay. So I can put, let me just update that. Update incentive. Okay. So I can load multiple codes. However, a code only makes sense if you do, you know, you, you to actually get lots. We've actually got a training inside of Viral that shows you how to generate hundreds of these codes. Because in this case, 
that is a unique code. It can be only be used by one person, one shot deal. And what happens is that one, the first one, like this one, that has been used. Right. So it, it then moves it from the two use from this column into this box that's been used. And then the same thing will happen with this one and this one and this one. So you could quickly burn through 20, 30, 40, 50 codes if you put them inside there. Right. So what you can do is we've got a training inside of viral. Don't know exactly where it is, but if you search for it, you'll find it. And it shows you how you can use Amazon AWS to create hundreds, if not thousands of these codes and put them inside here for you. Nice. Cool. Uh, one of the other things on this specific topic that people also have to consider, and I know we were just putting it together to kind of just rush through the other stuff, but mm. uh, questions will come up from people like, well, what happens? Can I stack those? Can I... Stop. Stacking? Like, can I mean? can I earn? Well, your discounts end at twenty percent. If I get another hundred points, can I get thirty percent at that kind of stuff? Those well, questions can... will come up from the users, so you have to yeah, those. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll as those come up because obviously I've just stopped at twenty percent, right? But if you want to, you can take it. You obviously don't want to have lots and lots of discount codes. I've just kept it at twenty percent because this is to introduce someone to you if you start having discount codes above and beyond and have lots of them on the page i would not do that i would keep this simple right obviously i put 5 10 15 20 you right. might do 10 20 30 40 it all depends what you want to do and what your business is what your price point what your product is but once you've got them into the system you've got the email and once they've gone through this process because you've got their email address guess what you can start doing you can start saying hey We've got a special offer on. Here's a discount code for that. You don't need it within. You don't need to add more and more and more and more to the pile inside up viral because up viral is doing the job it should do, right. which is offering the 5, 10, 15, and 20. Then what you want to do is if you've got a special summer sale that you're doing next week and you want to offer 50% discount to everyone who's been through this campaign has signed up for the rewards, you just fire an email to them and put the code in. Right. Boom, done. Right. Uh, Bjorn asked the question, how do you link your codes to ClickFunnels or your sales page? So, so the question basically is, obviously, you can generate a bunch of codes. The answer, mm. I think, is you can generate a bunch of codes the way Mark just talked about it. But yes, your shopping cart, your tool of mm. whatever you're using has to be able to process those codes. So there's two yeah. parts to the puzzle. Yeah, so what you can do is you can load the codes in here and then load the codes again inside uh, your shopping cart so right. that when they marry up, boom, because you can say oh, all these codes, and let me just go back over here so you can, so what you can do is if let's say this is a 5% discount and let's say I've got a thousand in codes inside here. So I can, I add those codes in here. I then go into my, Shopify, what whatever the heck it is that you're using, you and they, they've got plugins for this kind of stuff. You can then take those same codes, the same same CSV file, post it in there, and then it'll say, "What's the discount?" And you say five percent. So when you give them the code here, they then use it on your site. The two match up, and it says, "Ah, that's code three. Yeah, code three is a five percent discount. Code three A is a ten percent discount." So that's how that would work. So Karen, the answer to your question is, if your website can only handle one code, then what you need to do inside of UpViral is to select that multi-use code so that code yeah. 1A applies to everybody who needs to use it. Correct. So that's the answer to Karen's question. Got it. So here, right. here, here, here now are the actions, okay? And you can see that I am using custom actions all the way across here. So we've got like create an account. Let me just open this one. I've, I've done this, create an account. I've changed the icon, changed the color. And what we would do here is we would have the URL would be whatever the, the account creation page would be on your website. Every website that has as an e-commerce will have, especially if they've got accounts and they're selling things, there'll be a URL to that where they can set up an account. So you know, the, the, the question you're now going to ask me is, but Mark, 
<laughs> how on earth, when they set an account up, Ding. can I then give them the reward? Well, you ask the question, and that question is, what is your account number? Now, depending on how you set, you know, every site is different. Some will give you a unique account number. Some will call it an account ID. Whatever it is that you call it, you just put that inside here. And then what happens is when they go create the account, they then need to come back here. They get their account ID, put it in, boom, bang. They have got their 50 points. So, okay. So is is there any kind of automated process to do no, that? I've, I've no, I've not. No, I've not made this. This is straight out of the box, dead okay. easy, Got no it. automation. Right. And at the present moment, UpViral doesn't do that syncing at the moment. Okay. Right. So like like everything else, hmm. if you use this custom action, it's the same thing. Like when you say, currently when you use a custom action, you might say, oh, go to this page and do this. And it'll ask a question. What is the name of the article of this page? They come back, they put the name of the article. Boom, you've got your reward. Right. Okay. And now, obviously, great. yeah. So you could add an answer to it. But in this case, I don't want to add an answer because I don't know what, that everyone's account number is going to be different. So if All I right. put it, if I challenge it, it won't work. So in this case, they put, they come, they come back put an account ID in. And here's the great thing about it. It'll also then, when you hook up your autoresponder, it'll send it over. So if you do want to, and to be quite honest, it probably isn't really necessary to sync it up because at the end of the day, I'm giving a discount away. Right. I frankly couldn't care less in this instance whether they give me the right ID number or not because I'm not giving money away. I'm giving a discount away, which means they can only use the discount when they pay me. They become a customer. What a concept. So uh, amazing. <laughs> so it, it makes it, I don't really need to sync it up because quite frankly, whether they have got the right ID or not, I'm, I couldn't care less. Right. I just want to, to get it all to them and get them using it and um, so yeah let me just I, it that. me how many people argue with me on that one and i'm like just give them the discount because they become a customer yeah. give it away keep it easy yeah. so we've got create an account right um write a review so this could be that i go to say hey go to this blog post i just put it inside here and just write a review on there and I might ask them to sort of, I don't know what question I could put in there, but I could say, depending again, some websites use reviews or they use, um, um, what do they call it? I can't remember the name of it. We are where you put a comment in and so it, it logs your name. So you could ask them, say, you know, you could what ask them, yeah. You could put a, you'll put your name inside here, so we and we'll then ref, cross check it. You probably won't cross check it. It doesn't matter. Um, so I've added fifty points to that. Let me cancel that. Let's go down. Write a review. Follow us on Facebook. Now you might be wondering why am I not using the social actions one? The social action works in a different way. Do you want to explain the difference between how the, the Facebook, because obviously in this case, I want them to follow me. I don't want them to post because this would post this, the social appearance. Correct. I, do, I don't want that. I don't want them to do that. Well, I don't want them to get their friends to come to me. I don't want that. I want them to follow me because they once they post that in their their uh, stream, their news feed on Facebook, it it will disappear in 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 like two or three hours because everyone you know every yes. it's fast moving. I don't want them to bring their friends right now. I want them to engage with me. So that's why I'm using this over here to say, follow us on Facebook and get 10 points. And that would be a link to their Facebook page. I could then put a confirmation question in because again, we're, Facebook doesn't allow us to track 
whether you click, if you click that, follow. Now, at the present moment, we are working on how to do that, but the present moment it doesn't. So again, whenever you've used anything like this, Mitch, what would you put in there as a confirmation question? How would you get someone to confirm that they have followed you? What, how would you do that? Now, it typically, you know, you've you've highlighted most of the common questions. I simply mm. ask either what's your username mm. or what's the URL of your Facebook page or timeline so that I can see whether or not they really posted it or not. Now, like you, I typically don't really care what mm. the answer is most of the time, unless I'm looking for some data from them. Yeah. Right. Like maybe they're I, they're going to give me a special new place where they've posted mm. something, because I always like to find out what my clients are doing, right? My my entrance to my campaigns. And the same thing would be for followers on Instagram, and the same thing with Pinterest and Twitter. Same thing and YouTube. Uh, now the birthday bonus. This is something that um, <clears throat> I was debating whether to put it in or not but I decided, yeah, to put it in. Now, at the present moment, this doesn't work as good as I It's a really complicated way of doing it, but we are working on a way of making this really simple. The idea of what is the, first of all, what's the birthday bonus? The birthday bonus is I want the date of birth. I want them to tell me when they were born. And then why do I want that? Well, I want that because I can then tag them with that date of birth, uh, and a birthday tag, inside my autoresponder. And I can then set a rule in my autoresponder to send an electronic birthday card the day before their birthday. Nice. And give them a bonus. And it could be you know, a discount, an right. offer, something free. Right. So because think about it, if the birthday is in three, four, five, in a year's time, they are definitely going to have forgotten about you if they right. haven't purchased products. Right. If it's in two or three months, they could quite easily have forgotten about you. But if I get this, it works really well. Now, the challenge we have got with the birthday bonus at the present moment is I can put the question in, but right now, custom action requires a URL. Yes. It has to have a URL. We are working on a fix. Now, I could have quite easily missed this and just painted it as – Everything is sweet and rosy in the garden. But I just in case anyone does shoot me this, I thought I'd keep it in. And there are so many other alternatives to these sort of things that you can put in. But we, we will be, I can't tell you a date when that's going to be, when you can just put a direct question, an answer, right. ask them a question, boom. Um, but, but that is coming. So I, I and just I'm, want to I'm looking that. forward to that. The other thing that you can do is mm. add some description, which you haven't done on these, but because I know yeah. you've been busy, but you can describe in more detail what activities they need to do right yeah. there in that box. Yeah. So even though you're sending them to a link, you could say, well, I'm sending you over here so you can celebrate your birthday. Come back and tell me your date, your birth date, and we'll give you the 100 points. Yeah, I'll just put that in there for the moment. And we can see when we get back to the to how it works a little bit later on. So now let me just come back up here. Uh, I've also done here direct sign up, 100 points. Now, why have I done that? I want to come back over here. Okay. And I want to scroll down here. And it's this. Give 100, give 10%, get 10%. Okay. So if I then come back over here, and if I say direct sign up gets 100, so I sign up, I get 100. If I then send Mitch, hey, Mitch, go check this out because they'll give you 10%. I've just bought the products. Look, I've had a shave. I think it'd be really cool for you. And so I've got a question for you. I signed up and I have had 100 points. Where do I now put it, the other 100 points, for when Mitch signs up, does anyone have that? Ask that question. Can anyone post it? Do they know? Does it go in the referred sign up? Does it go in? Well, we'll number it. Does it go in box one, which is referred sign up? Does it go in box three, which is each referred lead? Or does it go in each referred visitor, which is box three? So can you all put in either two, three, or four? 
<laughs> All right. You, no offense, Mark, but you just said three twice. So oh, direct, was, direct sign up is box one. Direct or referred sign up is two. Referred lead is three. Referred visitor is four. Lillian says no idea. Yeah. Maria says three. Uh, Karen said referred sign up. Martin says three. Steve says three. Each referred lead says Leandro. Jackie says two. Cool. Karen says too confusing. <laughs> we got three, three, two, two. Lots of lots of different opinions. I know okay. the correct answer. What's the correct so, answer, Mark? Referred sign up number two. No, it's not. <laughs> it's number three. It's number three. You tried to trick me, didn't you? No, I didn't. <laughs> Do you know what I really like about this new interface? What's it that, took, Mark? It took a while for me to get used to it. But there's no save option. It just saves as soon as you put yeah, stuff in there. I'm going, I love it to bits. I it took love a while that. To do it. I love it. David so, said box five, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. There's always a comedian. So we've now set up the incentives and the action. Uh, well, let's go to the design. So can, can we go back just for one second, Mark? I'm sorry. We have to be careful. I know. To... Yeah, go on. Where part of, go part of what you just talked about, though, was in the points, was mm -hmm. the fact that we're referring people, mm -hmm. but yet the social actions buttons you've decided – to put no points and you don't even show them on the on the widget, which we haven't seen yet. Yeah. You talked about not wanting people to share it on Facebook, but isn't mm. that one of the best ways to get them to earn those points? No, I don't want them to share it on Facebook. Okay. I want them, don't forget, I, I don't want them to share. I don't want them to tell anyone about us. I want them to engage with me. That, that's the mission here. I know, but time out. You just said you're going to do this. You were friend a friend, refer a friend. Yeah. So I'm I'm playing devil's advocate here. You're saying you want me to refer people, but you don't give me any functionality to do that or ah, any points if I do, I, except I, for I, this. I do. I do give you. I don't forget about these. These right. things aren't relevant. These things are not relevant. What I'm after, I'm not because what I'm after is these would be a distraction. It would get people just sharing things on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, pins. They would just be sharing. And they would not be engaged with me. So you think if I had all these with, with the points and I didn't have this, they have not followed me on Facebook. I they have shared you know, with I did, I'm sorry. I did not say don't have follow us on Facebook. And it, I'm going down a rabbit hole that, that we don't really need to discuss, but I would probably, never mind. I'll, but let's move on. <laughs> no, these, these are not relevant for a rewards program. They are relevant for a, a campaign where you want them to share for a competition because the competition might bring people. This is not a competition. Uh, I know it's, it's out of your arena. I, 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 I no, well, yeah. oh, oh, no, I know all of these things. But anyway. Um, we can have a debate about that later. Move on. No, no, there's no debate. <laughs> so here you go, Mitch. Yes. We now need to put some decent copy in here, dude. So this is this bit where people come to here, click this, and this shows up. So what are we going to put in? What are we going to say in here? Uh, this is where a copywriter comes into play, and I don't mm. claim to be a great one. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> uh, but so what you're asking them to do at this point is to mm. join. I wouldn't make it too complicated in terms nope. of this. I would say sign up to join our rewards program or just our rewards. Either way. Cool. Let's do that. Uh, I would just say enter your name and email address. I would probably also say, and we don't need to do any of that, so just get rid of that. And I would put the word best in front of email address. 
because I want them to think about giving me their best one because that's what you and I want. Good call. Uh, What shall we put on the button? Uh, On the button, uh, join now. Join now. Make it simple. Yeah. Now, technically, you could also put best email in the actual field if you really wanted to go that far. So Uh, shall we do that? I typically do because sometimes they don't read the stuff above. Cool, cool, cool. Now, we don't need to put anything else in. We don't need to use any of the fancy stuff here. Uh, Correct. I've turned terms and conditions on because I think everyone should have terms and terms and things turned on. I've not put anything inside there. I just wanted to keep it light. So I'm just going to save that now. And don't forget, we are now creating a widget. It's not a hosted page, okay? Right. So we'll let it do its thing. I'm not going to change the colors. Don't need to do that. Let's now look at. But you could if you wanted to. Oh, you can if you want to, but that's oh. the joy. Yes. Now, this page, however, we can get some jigginess going on. <laughs> um, as you see here, would the it, email. I'm sorry, Martin. Would it be better to show them the sharing page that you've built before we dive into the widget? Because they haven't seen that yet. Well, no, because that's not finished yet. We're going to finish that, show people what we're going okay. to do on there. Okay. Right. So, as you can see, we've got all these goodies down here. Uh, I've turned everything off, which is not needed, because obviously, it, if it's not active, it turns it, it's not turned on. So, I've got create an account, all that kind of thing. Now, I can reorder these if I wish to do so. I would reorder them. Uh, in the um, points page. where I create where the points page where the custom actions I can drag and drop them. I'm not going to go back there, but you can drag and drop them there so they they can change their order. Uh, I'm using this particular theme so they can see what the discounts are and what they've earned and what they've not earned. But what we can also do now is we can get quite clever with it. We can actually start editing this because we can also put. Uh, keywords, these these things here. So, Mitch, what could we do? What what can we do? This is, this is where I struggle a little bit because you don't want to duplicate the words that are on yeah. the top of the page, right? I haven't mm-hmm. seen the rest of the page yet. I want to keep this simple because okay. I want to focus them on the activities below. Mm-hmm. So I would say something like, Accumulate points to begin. Accumulate. I yeah. Well, build points. <laughs> Too big a word for me. Okay. Accumulate. Well, yeah. I'm gonna some kind of copy that would say accumulate. Yeah. Get, get some points and gain massive discounts. I want to put it in their head that they're great discounts. Okay. Build your points and get massive discounts. Now, one of the things I really want to highlight here is I Mm. I can't tell you how many times I've gone in to other people's campaigns and seen this default text stuff. And so it drives me bonkers. Make sure you test and check all this stuff when you're running your campaigns. So what should we put here as a, a subline here? Because obviously, when they're in here now, they've already got some points. Um, they they should so. have a hundred points when they first joined. Yeah, I so. I would probably put where you were talking about the customization. Here you currently have, and then put in the points. I'm, not, I'm trying not to get complicated by changing fonts and all that. Of so. course. Oops. I would okay, probably, well, for, for now, I'll just get rid of the rest of the line. Yeah. Oh, we're not trying to be perfect copywriters because we only yeah. have 20 minutes left. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to save that. Yeah. 
that that line below the discount code obviously would change that because mm -hmm. we're giving 100 points for every friend who signs up. Yeah. Uh, let me just see what we've got here. I think this should do it. You need. Yes, you could do that. To get your next discount. Yeah. There we go. Keep it simple. You can always adjust. It doesn't have to be perfect to start right. off with. You can always go back and jig it. What? It doesn't have to be perfect? Apparently Shocker. so. Apparently so. <laughs> Now, the other thing that you can do on, on these templates where it says ways to enter, you can edit that text too. We don't need Ooh. to go through all of that. Uh, but I often suggest people put some text in there to, to give a little bit more instruction, uh, whatever they need to do to get people to focus on taking those actions. I'll do that because obviously okay. ways to w ways to enter is not relevant for rewards right. because correct. So let's do that. So right. that's what we've got. So that's saved. Save. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Slide that shows. Pardon? I'm sorry. I'm I'm reading. Oh, Leandro's question. That slider that's right there. He's asking. You don't need to go back, but that slider is automatically created by UpViral. Yes. It totally depends upon which template you're in because mm -hmm. they all have different looks and feels. So that specific template style that Mark was in has that slider left and right. And that's usually the one I pick because of the way it looks. Now, Remember? I'm not going to go through here because to be quite honest, here's the main, here's the emails for the incentives. So you can see straight away UpViral has put all the incentives in there. The right. five, ten, they're all there. I'm not going to play around with those sort of things because you can get, there's a whole session just there to be quite honest. Would, would you do, well, too late. I was just going to say, on. just bring one up, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. so that they see how you can insert the uh, the links and stuff. So all that yeah. stuff is in there with the brackets. And it's already it's already written it. Awesome news, Bill. You've just unlocked whatever five percent discount code. Here's your coupon code. It puts it inside there. You have points to you know to get the next one. And here's the referral URL. Your unique referral. Great, boom. And you can change that. And I go here. Where you, is it? There, where it's is up it? at the, it's it's there right is. above that one. You can put all these sexy things inside there. Perfect. Thank you. Cool. So uh, autoresponder, obviously you'd wire your autoresponder up to it. I'm not going to do that. Uh, tracking codes, you can put all this. Your right. terms and conditions will go here. Right. You can do all this sexy stuff if you wish to do so. I'm not going to bother with it. And then we've got the installation. And in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using two types of code. We're going to be using the pop-up widget which is of that, okay? And we're also going to be using the embed widget so we can have it embedded on the thank you page once they've ended. So we're right. going to do that now. So let me just come over here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, <clears throat> I'm gonna just re-spin this. And let's just see. I'm hoping that. Yeah, there you go. So it's made the changes. Sign up to join our rewards program. Best email, join now. So what I'm going to do now is I just want to stop my share. And Mitch, oh. what I would like you to do is go through it because you need to see the thank you page. And then we're going to edit the thank you page, which is also the share page and so you can do a better work as well <laughs> uh oh uh -oh. uh oh so i'm going to uh 
quickly answer Sid's question. Sid, all of the keywords should work inside of UpViral because the UpViral processes those before they get sent out. So if you're saying Hotmail doesn't do it, we need to talk because I don't, I don't think that makes any sense. But all right, so I need to move you over there. So here is the landing page. Right. There you go. So this is where you yep. want me to be. Now, this is it. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. I need to refresh because I need to. I had this pre brought up, but I want to see your changes because I want to make sure that the widget is connected. So you've already done all the connection part of the widget, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which we don't mm -hmm. need to go through that. Yeah, uh, th we've got videos on how you do that. And again, this is click funnels, and there are different ways for lead pages and your own stuff. So you can find those out inside our tutorials. There is lots of stuff that you can do inside of. <sighs> and don't forget Click these on. these uh, these rewards that I put inside here. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Now, the text we're going to change, but we'll the text up here. Yeah, the thank of you. Course. We look forward to meeting you. So. While you're there, Mitch, let's do this now. Let's just, what would you change on that? I'm going to go, so you stay there. I'm going to go back into ClickFunnels and I'm going to go to our thank you page. And you're now going to tell me, now that you can, now that you can see it, what should we put there? Should it be welcome or thank you? Part of, part of it is, <coughs> pardon me. Always a uh, preference, which you can always do split testing with mm. tools like ClickFunnels and other tools, which I absolutely mm. love split testing. So please make sure you all do that. Mm. I like to use the word congratulations and welcome. I, I kind of like to celebrate people. So I use the word congratulations a lot, but that's Mitch. Split testing would tell me if that works or not. I have no idea whether I spelt this right or wrong. So yeah, you know. it's and and now we're in the mode of Mark. I can't see what you're doing. So it's okay. No, no, <laughs> you stay there because uh, I am I going to uh, make the changes. I'm used to working uh, with the client in screen share, and so I can see what they're typing. Um, yeah, but this is more fun. Than <laughs> than I'm doing. Yeah, put me on the spot and make me think of on the fly yeah. in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. Now, ClickFunnels uses what's called Redis caching. So although I save it here, it might take a, a minute or two for it to update. What kind of caching? Uh, Redis caching. Never heard of it. Uh, well, I understand I it. But... it. Hang on a minute. It's just saving. Can you just uh, spin your refresh that page for me, please? I did. And nothing changed. Okay. We'll give it a couple of minutes. We can carry on doing whatever it is that we're also doing. Uh, what about the other uh, thing? We look forward to meeting you and working with you. What would you put in as your sub headline there? Um, <laughs> pardon me. We're thrilled to have you here and look forward to. I don't know. It sounds too formal. You're. It does. <laughs> you're We're thrilled you. to have you here. Yeah. If We're I thrilled. read that, I go, no, you're not. <laughs> Do you? Well, see, you and I are very different then. I'm joking, dude. I, I'm joking. I, <laughs> um, the what, purpose what of the page there? is to encourage people to do the referrals. So I would say, you know, we're we're thrilled to have you here. You below, you see the ways that you can earn your rewards. I wouldn't make it too complicated because I think most people understand the process. We've already got some words at the top that that of the widget to tell them, you know, build your points and get massive discounts. So there's not a whole lot that needs to be said. I like the gentleman pointing over to where the widget is. Mm. Uh, one thing that I always check in something like that is what happens if you're on a smartphone. So I, I simulate that by dragging the window over. I think you all can see that I've done that. So he's now, in a sense, pointing to nothing. So on a smartphone, maybe I might rethink that a little bit. That's a good point, actually. That's a good point. Uh, but this is, again, 
what you always want to do, and you see me in the background, hi, uh, what you want to do is test on not only your smartphone, but on your desktop. Mm -hmm. I tend to get really wrapped up in the desktop because I spend all day in front of my computer and I sometimes forget about the phone. So the easy, like I said, the easy way to simulate that is just take the window and drag it over so that it's tall and thin. Uh, but that way you see what the experience is potentially going to be like on the phone. And then you test it on the phone. Mm. Uh, I love the colors you've picked here. Do you want to just, uh, oh, you want me to refresh? Do you want to just refresh? Yeah. They're a bit, some, some of them are a bit, I don't know, it's, it's the reddish caching is, so is, is pretty, it's probably going to take a couple of minutes for right. it to soak right. through, but we can carry on. We can carry on. Right. Uh, so I think we've got a pretty good done a pretty good job here. We've got our yeah. layout. We've got some codes. Uh, what I would like on. you to do is, is click on the uh, create an account one. All for right, me, please. I, I one of them I actually uh, there you go. Uh, what is your account number? One of them I actually oh it's the birthday one. Will you will you open that for me, please? The birthday one. Sure. Oh, the birthday course. bonus. Anything. The birthday bonus is. Yeah, you can see the example of a description telling the person what to do. So right. this is what I want. This is what I've got for you. This is what it will do for you. This is what I want you to do now. So in this case, using those three principles to, for writing copy, this is what I've got for you. I want to give you a birthday bonus. What it will do for you, because I will send you, I send you a discount on your birthday. This is what I want you to do now is I want you to give me your birthday date down of birth here. so they right. can put their date of birth inside it. So an so, idea would be, because right now up fire, like you said, it sends them to a page. Yeah. So I would, I would create a quick page that maybe gave them a hint or as a, a surprise package on it or something. Mm. So they could at least go to your site, build traffic, poke around mm. if they want to, and then come back here to fill in their birth date. Yeah, that would work. That would work. That would work really well. You can see how we you just have to, although there are restrictions in some things that we, 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 there's restrictions on every service you use, but with thinking out of the box, being a little bit creative, we can always find a way around these sort of things. Yes. So cool. And and think outside the box. The other thing that I often advise is to think about all of the different places that you could send somebody to get them mm. to do an action. Brainstorm like crazy. Well, it's so let, it's easy let, to, let, to follow let, us on Facebook. Let's let's be let's be careful. Don't forget what this this is. This is I want them to engage with my communication channels. Sure. So what we've got here is. I could, you know, follow us on YouTube. If they was to do those things, I know now that I've got all these people who've done that. They are listening to me. They are engaged with me. So it's not about saying, oh, share this with your friend. I don't want you to share with a friend right now. I want you to be engaged with me. It's yeah. all about me, the yeah. company, and I'm going to give you this. Then what you can do, you can then get a little bit jiggy with it because now that you've got a, a, rewards campaign next week you could send and, and automate this you could then send them to a competition yes so you could build now all of a sudden you're getting a real bang for your effect you've actually got people in you know that if they are definitely giving you these you know you know they they are engaging you could then say hey uh i want to send an email to everyone who engaged with me in this, 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 and this, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, everyone that did those, send them this email because these are people who are super engaged with me. If they've only done one thing, not interested, but if they've done five or six or all of them, or, you know, six or more, send them this email. And then two days after they do, have done that, you say, hey, thank you very much for following us. I've got, as, as a way of thanking you, I'm running this super competition which ends in three days time or whatever it is. And if you do this, you can win an additional bonus. Or I'll give you this free thing if you do this. Yeah. So you can start building a whole funnel 
using up viral where it's like we'll get people in for a reward which is a softy sell you're not asking them to pester anyone here there is no getting asking your friends your mates your buddies posting stuff on facebook there is none of it all this is is a soft way of saying hey follow me and then you engage with those who are following you the most because if if you know they are going to be your customer so that's how i would how i would engage that and also we can as you see there there is a copy there for the email so we can then change that text underneath and we could jig this around a little bit because we can say hey for every person you share the link below you will get they'll get 10 percent, and you'll get 10 percent. so we can change we can really change that around a heck of a lot absolutely uh we do have a couple of questions coming in mark is there by the way because uh that... no 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 because we're done really i just wanted okay. to show how simple and easy it is to these these in fact these the reward side of things is easier to set up than an up viral competition because what you don't have to do is you don't have to come up with a prize <laughs> yes exactly there is no prize there's no sort of squeezing head going oh i haven't got a prize because one of the biggest challenges we have is I don't have a prize. You don't need a prize if you do it this way. Correct. Cool. Fabian asks, hello, can I use the up viral in every, in every landing page, but not before they opt in? Now, first of all, let me just say, the answer is yes. You can always replace your current up viral, or I'm sorry, your current, let's say you have a lead magnet and you're giving away mm -hmm. something. You can always substitute up viral and incentivize them on the sharing page to share with a friend and they'll get a bonus, yeah. Yeah. right? It puts your landing, your lead magnets on steroids, mm -hmm. which is what I'm starting to do in my own business. Yeah, um, get 10, give 10, get 10, right. give 10. Uh, but not Adam before, said, Fabian said, but says, no, I'm sorry. Go on, go on, uh, Fabian, I'm, I'm, you would not do it before they opt in because the opt in yeah. is the key. Yeah. Um, Lillian also said, can you check the Facebook birth date on maybe Facebook? Because I would cheat and put in any date just to get a prize. You're always going to have people that are you're always going to, you're always going to have it. Uh, yes. the, the, it, it. If you're dealing with, uh, I, I've had this, I know this, I have been the market head of marketing for a, a website that predominantly it was a female audience. Every single one, 80% lied about their age <laughs> no they put the right date of birth the birthday. and the month but the year yeah we found in most cases was way out <laughs> now now there is a tip that i want to give because fabian kind of followed that up with the up viral mm. widget on the thank you page and not in the opt-in page one of the great things with click funnels is and i know you use the widget on click funnels but sometimes you get into a mess because once they've already registered then the sharing widget shows up on the lead page and it can be mm. kind of confusing so mm. sometimes what i advise people to do is to not use the up viral widget on the click funnels landing page use the click funnels opt-in form because yeah. that'll never share the, yeah. wid the widget side of things it's just yeah. a little bit there's there's a lot of ways of doing stuff but again, like most of the things that we show you here, it's the ease and the simplicity. Now, here's something that, that is really interesting for you. It, how many months do you think it's been since I actually set up a uh, up viral campaign? Uh, well, actually zero because you just did it. But before well, that, <laughs> you probably, I would, maybe you never did. No, I have. Okay. It's been something like six months since I actually set up a campaign. And the interesting thing was doing it today, I was going through and I was like, this makes it, it was so much easier as opposed to the, the last version. It was really cool. Obviously, I got back to Ben and said, I think this could be better. I didn't quite get that. I think that could be better. I think that could be better. And here's the really crazy and funky thing. Ben said, already got that feedback, been speaking to clients, and we're already doing it. Nice. I was like, game on. Yes. So, and, yeah. and and you know I talk to Ben a lot and he mm. gets a lot of my feedback yeah. and he implements it really fast. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some awesome stuff going on. Yeah, uh 
Said says, can we use up viral as a loyalty for restaurants? Definitely. You can yes, use so. it for anything. I yes. mean, for example, I, I don't want to be, I want to be careful about my time We're cra yes. crawling up to the hour. Uh, for example, what you could do is you could have cards put on the table with a QR code. They scan the QR code, go to your rewards, they opt in, boom, bang. You could do it that way. Ah, Art says exactly the same thing. Yeah. Um, QR code. Thank you, Art. I'm trying to get through them really quickly because there I saw one a second ago. Um, you guys start talking so much. Thank you for that. That uh, I, I end up losing them. Uh, can you engage cold traffic this way? Yeah, yeah. This, in fact, this is perfect for cold traffic because obviously, if traffic comes to your website, let me just share my screen. Uh, then we'll have to disappear. Um, call it a day. Uh, here, here's my screen. Don't forget, this is a mock-up. Here's, here's the navigation of the main site. Right. So if someone came, this this is not the home page. This you know, whatever it is would be on the home page. We're on the rewards page. So when they come here. And yeah, when I often go to these, I look around and go, oh, they've got a rewards campaign. I come here and I go, oh, yeah, oh, 10%. I'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much because I might buy the product. And that is when you, because you've then just converted cold traffic into a lead because people look, I mean, uh, uh, voucher, all these voucher sites, that's how they make their money by giving people discounts. So people look for websites and when they go on a website and they say, Oh, they've got a rewards campaign. I'll have a bit of that. Even though I'm not, you never know. I might use it. I might not. And that's why I'm not after them to share at this point because it's non threat. It's less threatening. If they just sign up, give me their email address they get, and they immediately give them a 10% discount. They go, okay. And, oh, you don't want me to share with anyone. All you want me to do is follow you. I'll do that. Boom, 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 boom. I then built, just think now, I've taken a cold audience. I've got their email address. But more importantly, I've got them on multi-channel networks. I've got them following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube. You name it, I can put five, six, seven, ten things. Where Then whenever I put anything out, with an offer, they're going to see it wherever they are in that terrain. That's why the reward program is based on their action and me, 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 connecting with me. I'm not interested right now with them to connect with a friend. I can do that later with another up viral campaign. Yes. And you and so, you can always run multiple up viral campaigns simultaneously. You don't have to just be doing you one. Can. Of course you can. I'm exactly. actually just going to start a poll. I want people, I want to ask people a question before we go today. I'm just going to keep you around a little bit more. Can you all answer that question that I've just shot to you? Do, do you have a Can, Canva account? Do you all have a Canva account? Can you let me know? Do you guys okay. see the poll? <laughs> do you guys see the poll? You should see it. Do you see it? I'm not seeing any answers, which is why I asked. Mm. Um. We haven't ever tried a poll with this tool, no. so <laughs> we may be totally botching this. But yeah, uh, close, I'm, close. Yeah, I don't, I don't know poll. poll is ended. Ended. I've not touched it. <laughs> what if you oh, click, well. click reset? I'm going to click reset poll at the bottom. Is that right? Go on. You, I don't Let's see know. what happens. You, you, you. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mouse over it again, and then publish it again. Oh, there's a publish. Ah, start poll. Got it. Publish. Ah, okay. There you go. Some answers. There popping. you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Do you have a Canva account? Oh, wow. And that's, that's, and that's cool. free or paid. It doesn't matter which. Yeah, come tell us. Most people. Do you know that Canva is a billion dollar company? Yes. It is huge. Do you know who Guy Kawasaki is? Yes. 
he's a part owner in Canva. So I, I follow Guy Kawasaki on Facebook. So I, yeah, I keep track of that. And he was, he just was talking about how big they've gotten. And he's like, yes, I'm an owner. <laughs> okay, then, guys. Well, thank you very much. I can see. Well, let's end the poll there. Let's just end that poll. I'm going to end it. Uh, that's cool. I've got the results. That's interesting. 65% of you say you have a Canva account. Cool. Okay, then, guys. Thanks very much. Hopefully, this was of help. Uh, if you want us to go in more detail on, I'm making no apologies for zooming through this, but here's the real cool thing. You can watch this on a replay tomorrow. It'll be in the Facebook group, so you can watch it, pause it, take notes, take grabs. Um, I might even get our graphics team to put a PDF together so you can download, so you can see what the the landing page, the thank you page, all those sort of things, so you can have a look at it. Uh, next week, what are we going to do next week, Mitch? Have we got anything for next week? What are we going to do? Uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually hoping to show people something new. Oh, well. Uh, I it'll, also... only be, it'll only be a sneaky five, ten minutes, so anything else that okay, you think we maybe, should be I, We have gotten a lot of requests to do mm. some campaign reviews. Do you want to try to Let's do, do that. Them? Let's do right. that. Let's do some campaign reviews and some teardowns. Let's do that next week. Would you all like that? Give I us do. a yes if you would like it. I know <laughs> if, you would. If you do, by the way, if you're watching this, please put the go to the promote tab of your campaign. Make sure it's live. Send us that URL. Not I can't get into all of your campaigns, so don't be sending me a, a link that says app.upviral. Send me your real link from the promote tab please and that way i can look at it if you don't do that i'm stuck i can't look at them but you can do cool. that you can send those you know you get the emails for signing up for this there's an option to ask the question you can put a url in there if you want to review so that's how you go do that i've got thank you mark <laughs> <laughs> uh, christina hiccups. so there we go Go back to that. You can, when you sign up for the email list to get on the notifications, it will take you to a survey or a page where you can put that in. So just go sign I up. I mean, again. in all the reminder emails that you get that come out, yeah. it is in there as well. Okay, so good, good. Thank you. All right, then, guys. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Mark. Well Mitch, done. Do say goodbye first. Well done, well, Mark. I, I love the way you put this together. I Well, we both did it, dude. You you were primary, but that's okay. <laughs> I wanted I just want to congratulate you. I think you did a great yeah. job, especially on your I first up viral uh, campaign in a while. Self-deprecating, but there you go. <laughs> it's great to see all y'all. Thanks for tuning uh, in. We'll see you next week. Yeah. As I say every week, guys, wherever you are in the world, have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and we'll be back here next week. And don't forget, everyone, uh, this is free. It's, it's all free. Yeah. I know. Oh my God, we do. We I don't charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would we do this for free? Got to pay you something, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thanks, Mark. Same time next week. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Man. See you. Thanks a lot, Mitch. Bye, bye.